Per Gessel, thank you so much for joining us on News Breakfast. My pleasure, my pleasure. How important is it for you to keep the Roxette legacy alive? It's important because it's, uh, Roxette is, is like, uh, you know, it, it's the spine in my body. You know, I've been working with Roxette since uh, 1986, uh, up until Marie passed away in 2016. So that that legacy of songs that I wrote is uh, the, the the most important part of me, basically. So so I didn't I, I, when Marie passed away, I didn't really know what to do with it. But um, over the years, I tried to find a way to sort of um, pay an homage to the all these songs. You know, I don't want to start a new band or a new duo or anything, but. I bumped into this girl, Lena, who's a good friend of mine, and she's a, uh, she's a superstar here in Sweden. She's an amazing singer and a great performer. So I asked her if she wanted to join me on a, on a tour, and uh, she said, uh, to my surprise, she said yes. <laughs> Fantastic news. So tell us more about Lena. I believe you helped or produced one of her first big hits in Sweden back mm -hmm. in the 1980s. Yeah, I did. I, I actually co-wrote her breakthrough song in 1986 uh, and I've been writing songs for her over the years as well uh, but she's ha has her, had her own career and she's she's like I said she's a superstar here uh, doing her own tours and everything so uh, I just felt like she's you know it's not that many singers that want to step into Marie's shoes because Marie was such a uh, you know amazing singer and and Lena is, of course, scared of that. But, you know, at the same time, Lena has been doing this for so long. So she, she has her own style and she has self-confidence. And uh, we tried out some Roxette songs, just uh, her and me, you know, by the piano. Uh, and it, it was just awesome to hear her sing Queen of Rain, and Spending My Time and Must Have Been Love. You know, she's, she's got a great voice. I think it's, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're going to be surprised when you see her in Australia. I cannot wait. Uh, at the same time, though, Pierre, does it feel still a bit uh, strange for you, having had this decades-long uh, personal and professional relationship with Marie, to be standing alongside somebody else singing those lyrics? Yeah, I'm sure it's going to be strange because, you know, also I, I collected the the old classic, uh, so to speak, classic Roxette band with me. So it, all of us, are st we lost our drummer as well a couple of years ago, but all, all, all the other people are still around and uh, and they're still playing. So I, everyone is really triggered and want to go and do this thing. Uh, but it's, of course, going to be it's going to be special. But, you know, ever since... Um, I've been working so much with different projects ever since Marie Marie's passing. So it's not it's not a new thing for me to to play Roxette songs. It's just that this is going to be different because this is going to be uh, an homage to the classic Roxette catalog. You know, we're not going to do new songs. We're going to do play the old hits that people really want to hear. And uh, I just think it's going to be very special. And I'm really excited. I haven't been this excited for many years. <laughs> and it's been a while since you've toured Australia. What memories, Pad, do you have of touring through Australia? Oh, Australia has always been one of our biggest markets. Uh, the, the first, uh, the first time we went there, I think, was late eighties. We went just for promotion, and I remember watching um, uh, U two playing with BB King uh, uh, in Melbourne. And so it must have been eighty nine, I think. Uh, but then we did it. our first tour was with the Joyride album in '92, uh, uh, and that was just an amazing. Uh, we did three nights at the Entertainment Center in um, Sydney, for instance. Uh, great tour and enormous uh, response from from the from the crowds. The Australian crowds are really you know positive energy everywhere, and we just love playing there. The last time we were there was 2015. Uh, also a great tour. Pear, very much looking forward to seeing you and Lena touring Australia early next year. Thank you so much for having a chat with us this morning. Pleasure. Thank you. Cheers.
Mellon Events, Live Nation and A Day on the Green present Rock Set in Concert 2025. Touring nationally March 2025 and playing all their hits. Rock Set in Concert 2025. Tickets and info at melanevents.com and at dayonthegreen.com. Yeah.